Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Question, why do we get weaker and slower as we age? What exactly causes this? Today, I'm going to speak about the enigmatic phenomenon known as dinopenia. I'm about to discuss something that is not spoken of by anyone and it may change the way you perceive aging. First things first, what the heck is dinopenia? Dinopenia, my friends, is the age-related decline in muscle strength and function. In similar terms, as the loss of muscle power as we age. But hold on, there's much more to this than meets the eye. It is different from sarcopenia, which specifically means the age-related loss of muscle mass. In 2008, scientists suggested that as older people get older, their muscles become weaker which is not only because of their muscle shrink in size, but also due to a separate age-related decline in muscle strength and power. To explain this concept, they came up with a word called dynopenia. Dynopenia refers to the weakening of muscles that happens as we age, regardless if you lose muscle size or not. You could be big and still get weaker. Now, if you might be thinking, isn't muscle loss just a normal part of aging? Yeah, partially you're correct. But dynopenia takes it to a whole new level. It's not just about looking less muscular. Dynopenia has significant implications for overall health and quality of life as we age. It predisposes older adults to an increased risk of functional limitations and mortality. As we get older, our muscle strength and power naturally declines due to several physical factors. These factors may involve small unnoticed issues in our nervous system structures and function and problems with how the skeletal muscles generate force. In other words, there are minor issues with how our nerves work, even though we might not feel or see them. It is a multifaceted phenomenon. It's a result of various factors, including, including the reduction of muscle mass, changes in muscle fibers composition, and a decline in the brain muscle communication process. Neuromuscular communication is diminished. As we age, the communication between our brains and muscles become less efficient, leading to a reduced motor neuro, neuron activity and muscle contractions. While dynopenia is associated with the loss of strength and muscle, not everyone goes through this in the same way. The speed and seriousness of dynopenia can differ from person to person and are affected by factors like genes, how active we are, our lifestyle choices, and how healthy we are overall. Also, if someone has specific medical issues, it, it can make dynopenia even worse. This is the problem with dynopenia, okay? It's, it's, it's a step before sarcopenia. So all, the, all you hear experts talk about is sarcopenia, but what is the mechanism behind sarcopenia? What's, what's really the mechanism? What begins the muscle mass loss? It's dynopenia. When we like in our 20s, we're strong, we run fast, we have so much agility. When we start reaching our 30s and 40s, we start slowing down. When we reach 50, see, we don't notice this. As the years go on, we, we, we don't pay attention. But suddenly, boom, you're slower. You, you, you don't have as much power. In other words, your brain is telling you to move. You think you're moving, but you're not. Because the communication between the muscle and brain has diminished. And I mentioned this before my channel. A lot, it has a lot to do with the fast twitch muscle fibers. We naturally lose these. Everyone. Everyone loses. The objective is to slow this decay down. We have to slow down dynopenia. If you could slow down, if you could keep your brain muscle communication optimal and, and do exercises to maintain your fast twitch fibers and to slow down dynopenia, this will really slow down aging. So let's speak about how can we slow down dynopenia? Can it be done? Yes, it, it can be slowed down, but it can never be stopped. The objective is to slow down the aging process and dynopenia is very much involved in aging. So here are some exercises you can do to help slow down dynopenia. Most people only do one or maybe two 
of the following exercises I'm going to describe. You know, some people may just be joggers, some people may just be into resistance training, but the objective for the exercise I'm going to show you, you have to do all of them. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. That's why the average person becomes frail when they get older. Anyway, let's discuss the following exercises. The first exercise is resi resistance training. Resistance training involves exercises using weights, resistance bands, or body weight to challenge and strengthen muscles. These exercises stimulate muscle growth and help counteract age-related decline in muscle strength. Examples of resistance training exercises include squats, bench press, deadlift, uh, pull-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, bicep curls, tricep extensions, you know, and many more. The next exercise is called compound movements. Compound exercises engage multiple muscle groups at the same time, providing a more comprehensive workout and promoting functional strength. Compound movements such as the bench press, then you jump to the overhead press, then you jump to the bend over rows, then you jump to the leg presses, then you jump to the push-ups, then you jump to the pull-ups. Continuous like that. Works wonders for your neuromuscular communication. Okay? The next one is power exercises. Power exercises involve rapid and fast movements targeting fast twitch muscle fibers which are particularly prone to decline with aging. Examples of power exercises include jumping exercises, medicine ball throws, plyometric movements which I show many times on my channel. The next exercise is balance and stability training. As people age, their balance and stability declines, increasing the risk of falls and injuries later on in life. Balance and stability exercises such as single leg stands, toe taps, yoga poses can help improve coordination and pre prevent falls as you age. The next exercise is endurance and cardiovascular training. Aerobic training such as walking, cycling, swimming, dancing, etc. promote cardiovascular health and can also help support overall muscle function. Improved cardiovascular fitness contributes to better endurance during daily activities. You know, you walk up the stairs, you don't get tired. Really. The next exercise is flexibility and mobility training. Maintaining flexibility and mobility is crucial for preserving joint health, preventing muscle stiffness. Incorporating stretching and mobility exercises into your routine to improve joint rate and motion. It is very important to incorporate these. The next exercise is functional training. Functional exercises mimic movements used in daily life, making them particularly relevant for maintaining independence and mobility as people age. Functional exercises can include activities like carrying groceries, climbing stairs, and getting up from a chair without using your hands. Okay, I've made a prior video on this. You can find me as Vilpa. Okay? Interesting video, you can check it out. The next exercise is progressive overload. To continue slowing down the pinna, it is essential to progressively challenge the muscles over time. Gradually increase the intensity, resistance, or complexity of the exercises to stimulate muscle adaptation and growth. Remember that it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional or a certified fitness trainer before starting any new exercise program, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions or concerns. They can help you tailor a safe and effective exercise plan based on individual needs and goals. Combining regular exercise with a balanced diet that provides adequate nutrients, muscle health, is also crucial for maintaining muscle strength and combating dynopenia effectively. In conclusion, I hope this information helped you because a lot of people are not aware of dynopenia. They've heard of sarcopenia. Dynopenia is the first step. Okay, and the objective is to do the proper training and you can slow it down. You can seriously slow down the aging process. You, you need to maintain muscle strength and muscle power. That's what keeps you moving younger. Okay, have a great day. I hope this information helps somehow. Hope it helps you. It helps me. Okay, and good luck with you. And see you soon again in my next video. Have a great day.